Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another uh, video log of the Linux channel. Quite uh, recently, I hope you guys have seen, I uh, have uh, done an upgrade in my uh, uh, Netgear uh, NAS server and uh, I have replaced a 500 GB uh, uh, desktop uh, hard drive with my uh, laptop hard disk which is around uh, 1 GB uh, Western Digital uh, Drive. And uh, quite recently, I have uh, installed this uh, 500 GB in my uh, uh, Intel uh, Core i7 uh, PC, uh, my desktop uh, main desktop PC, and then uh, after uh, using around uh, uh, a month, uh, I figured out uh, there is some weird noise coming out of the disk uh, since uh, today morning, and I have not much paid attention, and also I was uh, uh, quite uh, busy with some uh, kernel uh, uh, code and uh, stuff in my uh, Toffee project, and uh, and uh, just now quite recently I figured out uh, there is some sort of disk errors uh, going on behind the scenes and uh, there are sort of write errors and uh, this disk I am using like a uh, sort of secondary backup drive uh, since my uh, SSD drive is around uh, 128 uh, GB transcend disk uh, it is not that sufficient uh, in case you need to maintain uh, 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 any sort of you know temporary backup files uh, I mean these are files which uh, I don't need to worry about getting corrupted or getting damaged or something it's just uh, uh, it's just a temporary backup because I have a primary backup in my NAS server and I have it in in uh, a couple of few uh, external drives and uh, USB uh, storage external drives and so on. So uh, I just uh, thought uh, let me take a video and uh, show you guys uh, in Linux uh, how you can uh, uh, monitor uh, any sort of disk which is failing and uh, the interface is quite interesting. You have a tool called disk. If you are using uh, Ubuntu you can uh, uh, search the application as disk and uh, this is what you will uh, get effectively. So with this disk you can find uh, this is my uh, 500 GB uh, drive which I have not yet mounted. So in case if you click this uh, you can see it is formatted with one single large partition and you can go here the topmost button in the right hand side and you can go and click this option called as uh, smart data and self tests. So once you click you can see the entire snapshot of your drive and it also shows the current temperature of the drive and uh, I just uh, booted the drive just now so it's not that uh, warm yet and it's not that hot yet. but as you can see here it is showing a lot of uh, uh, read errors and uh, it is also showing uh, uh, since when it is uh, powered on total uh, hours which it is uh, powered on and also it shows uh, uh, it's sort of you know head uh, flying hours and things like that so it is quite interesting and uh, I never seen uh, this kind of detailed uh, <laughs> analysis as such. so I have seen I have used uh, of course uh, the disk software to format uh, my SSD uh, drives and uh, also my micro SD cards and uh, every time I do Raspberry Pi development I do of course uh, some sort of disk partitioning everything with uh, uh, the tool called disk whereas uh, uh, this is the first time I'm seeing this page and uh, it's quite interesting to see a uh, disk which it is failing uh, as you can see here and uh, let us compare this uh, with the other uh, good working uh, SSD drive and uh, we can see how far it uh, differs uh, in terms of its output as so you can even do refresh and it will slowly update this uh, you know error rates just in case if it is that if the disk is mounted you can see the error rate is getting you know added up as so this is what it shows a clear sign that the disk is going to fail today or tomorrow as so in this criteria i am going to shortly uh, going to take any backups if required and after that i am going to uh, um, format this drive and then uh, I'm going to purge this drive as soon as possible so that I don't want to use it and uh, I don't want to get uh, any kind of failures or uh, middle of some important uh, work as so as you can see here let me close this window and uh, we can open a smart data and self test window of working SSD drive and let me just expand this window yeah, as you can see here it has almost no errors and uh, this 
it shows a clear indication that uh, the drive is uh, working well and uh, the total hours uh, power on hours it shows as uh, 26 days and uh, 3 hours and uh, which is like as you can understand it is relatively new so versus uh, my old uh, 500 gb drive and it's been sometime in uh, my nas system and then uh, um, earlier it has been purchased for actually a desktop user so, so it's uh, quite old and it's been used during uh, the traffic cruiser uh, development and so i hope you guys uh, liked watching this video in case if you find any signs uh, of your old drives and uh, just in case if you have any working drive which is also old and in case you want to uh, check if the drive is still okay to use and okay to put any important data in it just in case if you use that uh, disk as your uh, primary disk it can be a, a laptop drive or it can be a desktop drive just use this tool called disks in uh, linux if you are using the linux operating system uh, and uh, you can uh, uh, go to this uh, tab called a smart data and self tests and you can figure out uh, if everything in the disk is okay and if you find any sort of uh, you know errors in the read or something like that it is a sure indication that it is going to fail uh, sometime very soon as <laughs> so so i hope you guys liked watching this video in case if you have any questions uh, please post it across in youtube comments so thank you once again for watching this video thank you have a nice day bye bye